Hey everyone, this is Dan with SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we have the F-150 and Mustang fuel pump modules that we offer. There's a few different styles that we offer and we kind of want to go over, uh, go over them with you guys. Uh, basically, we have the Tetrid series, which is a four pump module. It drops into the factory fuel tanks. It's for the Mustang and the F-150. And then we also have a twin pump module that's designed to go into the factory bucket. Now that also works with Mustang and F-150. Um, all of these fuel pump modules work with the 255 Walboro, Walboro pumps all the way up to the 525 Walboro pumps and all the stuff in between like the 340 Stell series pumps. Um, pretty much all your basic, uh, basic fuel pumps that are on the market. Uh, on the, the twin pump setup, which uses the factory bucket, you'd take your, you can essentially take out your factory fuel pump, pull your bucket apart, pull your factory fuel pump uh, adapter out of the inside of the bucket, and then this, all this stuff will drop in. We can kind of show you here. So inside the fuel pump bucket, it kind of looks like this. This adapter, you'll slide your fuel pumps in. This adapter drops into the bucket and then it'll lock in there. And then once you do that, we supply you with the hoses that you need to essentially tee the pumps together. And then a bulkhead fitting, this will be your new Dash 8 feed. A bulkhead fitting, you'll drill a hole up here, put your bulkhead fitting in, now you can obviously have a Dash 8 feed. And the factory return, or the factory feed line will actually be able to be utilized as a return now. It sounds kind of complicated, but it works out really well because then the customer only has to run one fuel line up to the front of the car, utilize the factory return or the factory feed line as a return now. But everything's included in the kit to pretty much make that work. Um, everything's a little bit different. The nice thing about this style kit is on the F-150s, depending on what year they are and what, what model F-150, um, the gas tanks vary in size. So, the fuel pump modules, the orientation, for instance, on the F-150 will actually orientate this way. These rods that hold it down in there will actually go sideways compared to a Mustang, which goes that way. So as you can see, the adapter kind of integrates those options all in one. And that allows you to not have to worry about, okay, what size gas tank do I have? You know, it takes all that out of it because you're literally removing your fuel bucket or your fuel sending unit and utilizing it. So this is a very cost effective kit for anybody that would be up to about the 800 horsepower, 900 horsepower range. This would be a great option for you. Now moving down the line here, we have the uh, Tetrad series, which is a full billet anodized pump setup for the S550 Mustangs. Uh, we have a variant of this sending unit or the fuel pump module. We have a variant of this um, for the GT500, which there's some slight differences, but nothing crazy. It's essentially the same thing. Um, holds four pumps, same thing, uh, you know, all your basic 255, uh, 525, you know, Walboro style pumps. Um, four pumps, you can run them in any configuration you want. So if you only wanna put two pumps in this hat, you can. Um, and then you can just plug off the other two. Another thing I'd like to show you is the, on the, our Tetrad fuel pump module, we have a wire gland seal is what we call it. It's essentially a rubber based nitrile seal that presses down into the pump here and allows you to hook up your pumps, shove them, shove the wires up through. And once you get the wires up through, including your sending unit wires, we can shove them through the seal. And then the seal presses down into the pump, seals around the outside edge, and seals around each individual wire. Once you do that and have it up through there, you put this retainer on. And as you can see, it sits up. Whenever you tighten the retainer down, it actually compresses the seal even more. So it actually constricts the wire inside the seal, um, which is a really nice feature. It keeps it very universal because... Not everybody wants to run the same fuel pump. Not everybody wants to run 
the same type of wiring setup. So this keeps it nice and universal for everybody. We also include uh, nylon pins. So if you only want to run a couple pumps, you can essentially fill in the dead holes with the nylon pins so you obviously don't have anything leaking out through there. Nice feature, and we carry that over, all those features over to the Tetrid pump for the F-150. It also retains the same style gland seal. Um, obviously, this pump is a lot different because the F-150 actually doesn't use uh, the siphoning process. The siphon is used on the Mustang, which is actually this port here. The one cool thing about the siphoning process on the Tetrid pumps is it's a it's based off of the manifold. So what happens is, is as you build pressure up in this the manifold of the pump, what happens is, is it actually creates a siphon all the way back down through this main tower out of the base. And as that little bit of fuel flow is going through there, it'll draw from the other side of the tank and it keeps everything, everything level. The, the one thing that sets this apart from some of the other pumps on the market is it is a unison feed for the siphon circuit. So no matter which pump you're running in whatever position you want, it will always be feeding the siphon circuit. So you don't have to worry about that. Some of the earlier pump setups and some of the competitors pump setups, I know you have to actually run, you know, a pump in a certain position so that you have a good siphon at all times. So that's the one nice thing is it's kind of a universal uh, siphon feed setup gives you a lot of modularity and you can set the pumps wherever you need to set them. So back to the F-150, obviously it's a different, it's a different type of hat. It's a lot more complex. There's a lot more pieces. Um, the, the nice thing is that we did with the F-150 that was kind of a pain in the butt, but needed to be done is the factory rollover valve. So in these trucks, there's a, there's a, a check valve inside the tank that works in with all the vent lines of the pump and all these vent lines are retained everything connects just like factory and the rollout where the rollover valve is still 100 percent operational just like it is from the factory so that was one of the main things that we wanted to do when we built this pump setup is we wanted to not only be able to integrate four pumps which to bring that up the four pumps will support you know 2400 almost 2400 horsepower um, the nice thing though is that not only do we want to be able to integrate all those pumps, but we wanted to keep all the factory features there for safety reasons and just for peace of mind. So that pretty much covers the pumps. The one other thing is the dash eight return and the dash 10 feed line. Um, they are O-ring style fittings uh, into the, the top of the lid for the fuel pump module. They are um, obviously interchangeable. If you wanted to do something different with that, you could run a straight fitting out, you know, 90 degree swivel, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, once again, trying to keep it as flexible as we can for the customer. And they also use the factory sending unit. So the factory sending unit will clip right back onto the, the back of it. Your, your heights are all set from factory. Um, so all that stuff will read properly. All right, guys, that pretty much covers it on this week's product spotlight of the F-150 and Mustang fuel system offerings that we have. Uh, to go over it one more time, we have the, the dual pump set up for the factory fuel buckets and fuel, fuel pump sending unit. And then we have our Tetrid line of pumps, which is our four pump fuel pump modules. Uh, they are available as they sit, just as the fuel pump module by itself for the Mustang and the F-150. All this stuff's on the website. Um, on the Tetrid pumps, we do plan on moving them into model-specific kits eventually. But as of right now, everything's kind of how it sits here uh, and is available this way. So that covers it for this week's product spotlight. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.